Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's been a while, it's been a hot minute. It's been a second, it's been, okay, it's been like a couple months, but shh, don't tell anybody. How are you doing? Don't mind my weird sports bra workout outfit. Anyways, how are you doing? My name is Emily, if you didn't know that, and I am the owner and artist behind Fantastical Finishes, and I am a furniture artist. <laughs> so, can you see what's behind me? Isn't it so pretty? I'm super proud of this piece. It's so rainbowy and colorful and beautiful and bold and bright and rainbow fantastic. I already said rainbow probably, but you know, whatever. Anyways, we're gonna learn how I got this look behind me. So I'm gonna take you through the whole process and I'm gonna show you what paints I used. So I'm super, super, super excited. How can I say that? I am so excited because I am a content creator for Paint Couture. And let me tell you, this paint rocks. And I'm not just saying that because I get free product for them, okay? Because that would be not cool of me. I actually really like it and the blending is gorgeous. So let me tell you the colors I use because they're fantastically bright and beautiful. So the first color we got is called Lemon Peel and BAM! Sorry, got some paint on there. It's bright, bright yellow. You can see that at the bottom. And then we, and I'm not an orange fan, but this is pretty. We have Caribbean Coral. Woo! And after that, we blend it up to Polynesian Pink. Bam! And then we have Sea Glass, and I'm a love lover of blues and greens, so look at this. So that's this color right here. And then last but not least, we have, I love this name, Elvis Parsley. And this is a Paint Couture collection from the CC Remix collection. So she's got some cool stuff with play on word song names. So those are the five colors we used. So if you're interested in how I turn those colors into this, you're going to want to watch this. Oh, also like and subscribe because that helps me out. And I will list all of the items I use down below in the description as well as an affiliate link. And that is no charge to you, but it does help me create cool stuff like this if you purchase your stuff from there. So without me yapping anymore, let's get started. <laughs> First, we're going to start by making some molds because I wanted to add some flower and texture to this really flat piece. So I'm just taking some clay and balling it up in a little circle and adding it to the mold. And then I take my little spatula guy and just scrape the top and that helps like get all the extra off and make it smooth. And that's just the whole process for molds and I just made a bunch of bunch and a bunch of flowers and leaves. Now I've already done the repairs and primed to my desk, so now that I have my molds made, I'm going to lay them out in a pattern that I think looks pleasing. I definitely recommend laying them out first before gluing because it's a lot messier and a lot harder to rearrange your molds after you have them glued on. Now that you have the pattern and layout of the flowers you like, you can just go ahead and glue them on. After the glue has dried, I went ahead and took my spatula and cut along the edges of the drawer so the drawer can open nice and smoothly with the molds on there and the molds connect still. So it looks all pretty and functional. Yay! Now for the really fun part, we get a start to paint. I have my little paint couture brush and I am going to start with lemon peel and I like to start with a smaller brush when I'm painting over the mold so I can really get in all those angles and crevices of all these molds. So I'm just going to lay the lemon peel down on the bottom kind of triangle corner of this desk. Now 
Now that I have lemon peel down, I am going to come in with my Caribbean coral and I'm going to use a separate brush and paint that right above the lemon peel. And it doesn't really matter like how much you wanna paint above or what pattern, just put it above the lemon peel so they can blend together. Great, so I have my Caribbean coral where I want it. Now I'm going to take a mister bottle and mist between the two colors. And I'm taking another brush that is dry. So it's, I call it a dry neutral brush. And I'm gonna just spray the water on the two colors. And then I'm gonna take my brush and go up and down, sideways, backwards, forward, circular, to, until those colors blend nicely together. And guys, I'm going to be doing two coats of this paint on the whole thing. So the first coat doesn't have to be perfect, but I do still like to blend it pretty well. So I have a good base to go off of. Now I'm going to take my Polynesian pink and I'm going to lay that right above the Caribbean coral. Now I'm going to take my mister bottle and mist that section between the Polynesian pink and Caribbean coral and I'm going to take another separate dry neutral brush and blend the two colors up, down, sideways, all around until they have a nice transition. If you haven't noticed yet, we are going to use a lot of brushes on this project because you need a brush for every color and then a neutral brush for every blend in between the colors. Another trick is after you do your neutral blending in the middle is to go back with your bottom color, so the Caribbean coral, and kind of add more orange where you want and go back with the pink on top and add more pink where you want. Now it's time for sea glass and we are just putting this above Polynesian pink. And we're gonna go through the same process of blending the pink and the blue with another dry neutral brush and coming back with pink and blue to add more where I want. And it's just that simple. The last color we're using is called Elvis Parsley. Love the name. And we are going to add that in that leftover top section you see here. And guess what? You're gonna need a brush for that color and then a separate third brush. Well, no, it'd be like the second, 10th brush to blend the blue, the sea glass, and the green, the Elvis Parsley. So when working on the legs, I want the same colors to match as you go around the desk. So I want the blues to be able to kind of go over that gap you see and go over to the leg like there wasn't a gap. So I'm going to place all the colors in the same kind of spots and areas and then I'm just going to blend how I did on that first section and that's what we're going to do for the first coat all around this whole desk.
so the first coat is all done and after it is dried for about four hours I am coming in and I'm going to place my second coat of the same colors right over where it has already been mapped out for me I'm however going to really take my time to blend this second coat perfectly because it is my final coat and I want it to be just you know perfect I already said that but perfect and nothing's really perfect, so I just want it to look the best that it can look. So we're going to go through the same process. I'm going to put the parsley over the parsley, the sea glass over the sea glass, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to take a dry neutral brush and blend between each color, making sure that each color has its own brush and each blending has its own separate dry brush. All right, so let's get this second coat done. Woo! the outside looks beautiful so now I'm gonna work on the inside of the drawer so I'm gonna pull out the first drawer and I'm going to match the colors from the outside and blend it on the inside trim here so if the customer takes out the drawer the inside still looks pretty and again I'm just matching the same colors and using an extra brush to blend in between the two so I'm going to do this to all of the inside edges of the drawers so they all look really nice if you ever pull them out. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple transfers on the top, not too much, just to give an extra floral detail with some dragonfly accents. So I'm using the little stick that came with the transfers and I'm rubbing it on. And then I'll just pull it away slowly and uh, my transfer will stick nicely to it. Now it's time to seal the piece and I'm just using a satin clear coat and I'm going to use a blue sponge and just apply that all over the desk. Then I'll take my little brush and I will apply the satin clear coat with that brush on the moldings because there's all these crevices that the satin clear coat will need to get into. Now that my piece is sealed, I'm just going to use some white wax and apply with a natural bristle brush around all of the moldings and then I'm going to wipe it back with a nice little wet wipe. I want to do this so the moldings and the details will stick out a little bit more but I don't want to do a dark wax where it's going to take away from the nice color of the desk itself. She's all done. Now we just add these beautiful sparkly knobs and That'll just be the last accent to the piece. Woo! Alright, here she is. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she lovely? Um, yeah. I think she's great. I love her and I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to keep her for myself. But I am not gonna do that because it's for a very special girl. So, it's gonna have to go away. But... I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with how the paints all blended together. And I think this is a cool, cool piece. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Again, my items are in the description below and the affiliate, affiliate, affiliate link, affiliate link as well. 
And yeah, if you have any questions or ideas of what you would like to see in the future, let me know. But that's all I got. I hope you have a fantastical day. Um, bye.